Our next guest never expected to be on the national stage, but when her husband became the vice president, she was launched into the spotlight as America's second lady. And now Karen Pence is here today with a new project, a book about life's unexpected turns and how her deep her. faith helped her navigate it all. Please welcome former second lady and author of When It's Your Turn to Serve, mm -hmm. Karen Pence. Thanks so much for being Good with us. Good to see us. you. Good afternoon. Thanks so much for having me on, Eve and DeMarco. I appreciate it. So let's talk about your life in this book. Your family has been the target of a lot of hate. Your husband's life was threatened on January 6th during the Capitol insurrection. He's now running for president. As his wife, do you have any concerns or reservations about this bid for the White House? Well, I'm really glad you asked me that because this book, the whole challenge of it is when it's your turn to serve, stepping up. And so I can't really say, well, we don't want to step up. We don't want to answer what we feel is God's calling right now. And so uh, that's a great question because we, we did a lot of soul searching, a lot of praying, uh, read our Bible very regularly to, to come to this conclusion and make this decision. So uh, that's a great question. That's really what the book is about. And with the presidential election now uh, just a year out, it'll be putting you back in the national spotlight there. Are you okay with that? How do you feel about that? <laughs> well, you know, it's, uh, it, it's something I talk about in the book because uh, one of the verses that I bring out in the early part of the book is, those that cling to worthless idols forfeit the grace that could be theirs. And I talk about the fact that if I had said no years ago, all of the things I would have missed. And so I talk about my initiatives as First Lady of Indiana and my initiatives as Second Lady of the United States. And and if you, what I try to encourage the reader to do is don't be afraid to step out and accept that challenge if you, if you feel God calling you to serve. And so uh, my daughter Charlotte said to me when we were making this decision, and you're right, DeMarco, I, I had a few reservations. She said, Mom, maybe you should read your book. Mm. You reveal a lot in this book. It's really about your time as the second lady, but you don't get into the politics of it all. How you feel about the insurrection or Donald Trump. Why did you make that decision? Well, yeah, I feel like right now our country um, needs hope and people need encouragement and they really didn't need another tell all trash book. Um, what people want is encouragement in their own everyday lives. And so while some of the uh, times where God called me to serve were in pretty amazing ways, like leading the presidential delegation to the Special Olympics in uh, Abu Dhabi, I mean, that was like the highlight of my time as Second Lady. I also talk about the times where God maybe calls, called me to be a teacher. Uh, or he called me to be a mom and, and say no to opportunities that I had because my ministry was Michael, Charlotte, and Audrey. So I talk a lot about in your everyday life, but you're right, it's filled with lots of behind the scenes stories uh, from the White House. But I didn't really feel like I needed to get in there. Mike wrote a memoir, told all the details, but I thought this is more about the initiatives that I had and, and encouraging the reader that there are some great things going on in our country. All right, former second lady Karen Pence, thank you a lot uh, for being with us today. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.